some last minute options that you can consider. I know it's late, but you can consider these things. You can cook a nice meal, right? And if you can't cook, you can give that special person a coupon that they can exchange for a piece of jewelry later if they promise not to dump you, huh? Or, or you can get them a gift that'll take your relationship to totally new heights. New this morning for you with a week to go until Valentine's Day. One company in Las Vegas wants to help couples safely join the Mile High Club. It's from the company Love Cloud, fittingly. Well, couples can rent a private 45-minute flight. It comes with a private bed blocked off from the pilot with the curtain there. Well, officials say there's also a commemorative membership card signed by the pilot himself. They also say the sheets are changed and everything's been cleaned in between flights for you. Prices for the romantic getaway start at $995. Wow, okay. This is not what I expected. And I feel like it kind of defeats the whole purpose of the Mile High Club, you know? The Mile High Club isn't just about having sex on a plane. It's about having terrible sex quietly without getting sucked down that toilet. That's the experience. Anyone can have sex on a plane. Not to mention, they said this flight only lasts 45 minutes. Only 45 minutes? You realize that's barely enough time to apologize for the first two minutes. And don't get me started on the fact that the pilot, AKA Mr. Smiley over here, I've just got to trust that I've got privacy because he closed that little curtain. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay $1,000 to have sex while some random dude is sitting there pretending to not pay attention. That's not a plane. That's a flying dorm room. So, I mean, look, good luck to these guys. But I don't know how many people are gonna want to take this flight because there's always a chance of a crash. There's always a chance. When you fly, there's a chance you can crash. And nobody wants their obituary to be like, John Sanders was killed today when his sex plane crashed into a mountain. The main thing, though, is that it just doesn't seem like it's worth a thousand bucks. It's a cool experience, but a thousand dollars is a lot of money. I mean, think about it. Spirit Airlines only costs, what, $119 round trip? Yeah. And they always leave you feeling like you were f***ed. So, I mean, that's a pretty sweet deal. I completely agree with you. It takes all the fun out of it. It's like if CNN is gonna hold a staff meeting where they're like, everyone come and masturbate. Jeffrey Tubin is not logging on to that. It takes all the fun out of it. If someone gave me that as a gift for Valentine's Day, I would break up with that person right away. I don't need to ride the jizz jet. I don't need that. <laughs> Plus, if you think about it, it's not really all that practical, because how are you gonna fit all your sex toys in a carry-on? You gotta put them in airplane mode. You don't know if they're gonna work. You gotta just, like, pray for turbulence right before the final descent. And you get all your lube in those little three-ounce bottles. It just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I never thought of the practicalities. Well, that's and what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that really helped me a lot. You're welcome. Why, why, did, why does a sex toy have airplane?